Hey guys, welcome to our Powered Investing YouTube channel. This is our big, a weekly outlook of the major forex period that we most of the times trade. So let's begin with Euro USD. As you can see on the weekly time frame, uh, we are uh, we we do have some indecision candle. Of course, the price just tried to push the upside to the end of the week, but uh, the the bears they won they pushed the price lower but the price just uh closed above the previous week uh low so this is this this might be some uh this might indicate about the some bullishness at the upcoming week uh so going to the daily time frame we can see that the uh price made a push to the upside is just right now coming to the downside on the daily time frame drawing our fib levels we can we might look for a buys from 786 levels if we see a reversal on the low time frame but the price just uh, reacted perfectly from this breaker block I, i'm i'm not sure i'm not sure like uh, the price is way overextended to be honest to make any decision but uh personally i believe that uh it should have some uh reversal to the upside to make some more decent uh decent pullback because if we get it like it even like didn't uh go to premium level for selling off the price even lower so uh we have to look for something like we do have some uh we do have some imbalances over here so we might see some movements to the upside in the upcoming days and weeks on the lower time frame what we can see yeah nothing 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 interesting to be honest like we made uh we we made a high low uh swept the low uh swept the high and now uh we made a higher high this is going to be our higher low the price uh took off to the upside so uh possibly uh possibly this might be our uh buy zone guys for the upcoming monday so guys uh trade carefully let's go to the next pair USD cat is just is just uh ranging ranging inside of this uh place so uh actually we so we took a liquidity about those highs maybe we are going to took a liquidity below those lows guys in the upcoming week so nothing is clear to be honest on the weekly time frame on the daily time frame yeah we took a liquidity about those highs and right now we're going to the downside and according to the euro usd uh it's actually fits because uh we are gonna go to the upside with euro usd so uh usd cat is most likely to be uh bearish so let's see on four hourly yeah we're just developing a very nice structure guys high low high low high and because usd cat is considered to be one of the most like uh stable pairs so uh this is our high on the four hourly time frame and this is our low on the four hourly time frame so uh we might see some reactions from those uh from those places guys or even uh or even right now the price is just uh reacting from this imbalance over here so it might be uh, it might be that the price is already in the premium so uh the price might just uh reverse to the downside from this point guys this is also very possible usd gpy what's going on here guys yeah we have a very super uh break to the upside uh personally i believe that the price is just going to sweep uh all of those previous highs very major like almost almost like equal highs and right now it's going to the upside so i believe the upcoming week is going to be super bullish with 
uh, USD GPY as well. Uh, we are kind of like overextended, but as you can see from the history, uh, over here when the price uh, broke uh, broke previous highs, it's, it's just starting moving up and up and up and up. So it's it's a very stable stable pair, guys. So most likely it's gonna go to the upside. On the low time frame, uh, oh my god. On the low time frames, uh, we have, uh, and yeah, we have nothing clear, nothing clear. We just broke to the upside, but I'm not, I'm not waiting for the price to come down to that way. Like it's gonna be uh, hundreds of pips, like 200 pip, and then go to the upside. It's, it's just, it will just uh, climb up and up and up and up. This is my view on USD GPY. GU, what's going on here, guys? So it, it's just falling very, very strongly. I believe it's gonna fall uh, further, but it it has some correlation with uh, Euro USD. Uh, Euro USD. So actually, if we look over here, the major swing was this one. Like this was a low. This was a high. We did have some manipulation of the uh, above the high. So right now we're going to the downside, and this is our order block right here, guys. So very possibly the price might uh, touch this order block a little and then start uh, re reversing to the uh, upside. Maybe, maybe it will uh, first. First of all, at the beginning of the week, it will just right now just reverse to the upside touch this uh, break block over here and then continue its down movement guys so uh, this might be a potential point on the weekly for the price to go let's see on the daily actually it broke to the downside it already touched this lay uh, level but it did not touch the 50% of it because over here we do have some imbalance guys Let me delete this one. So over here we have this imbalance, guys. So uh, most likely the price is gonna touch that imbalance. We do have this uh, beautiful like uh, previous high that uh, that might work as a liquidity, and the price might just go to the upside, sweep those highs, touch the imbalance, and then continue its down movement. I'm just saying that because. Euro is USD is a bit bullish and USD cat is a bit bearish. So I believe that uh, it should like continue its overall movement. Going to the AUD USD. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, we we went to the downside over here. We uh, we do have this impulse to the downside. Uh, we made a retracement. We found some supply over here, maybe on this like break block. We go, uh, we went to the downside. We swept the previous low and then started moving to the upside. So where is our potential point to sweep our uh, uh, potential points of liquidity? Is uh, this uh, those like highs, or or uh, those this imbalance which was perfectly uh which was perfectly tested by the price already so guys uh most likely if the price did does not reverse to the upside it will just continue going to the downside because it took all the liquidity that was uh needed for the price yeah we touched this we touched this uh, order block over here. Actually, uh, on daily time frame, we have nothing clear. Nothing clear. Maybe on the four hourly, we have something. Oh my god! Yeah, guys. Uh, actually, very nice. Very nice because uh, we broke to the downside, right? We broke here to the downside. We broke it with a very nice uh, like imbalances over here. Those imbalances are just the key. We do have this imbalance, guys. 
from where the price already uh, reacted. So most likely it might be a bearish for the upcoming week. Yeah, right. So uh, actually, this was uh, if you look, this was a low. This was a high. This was a lower low. And we are looking for a lower high somewhere over here. So, uh, guys, actually, this is our new impulse to the downside. So, anything above like 50%. So, in this, uh, like, in, in this situation, the first thing was this imbalance over here from the 50% of which the price uh, perfectly reacted and which is in confluence with 618% uh, level of the Fibonacci. And so right now it's going to the downside. So most likely uh, this is commodity pair is USD CAD. So I believe that the price will be more stable. It's more stable with its movements uh, on AUD USD. So it will just uh, create some structure and continue going down and down and down. Okay. This was all guys. Guys, thank you so much and have a good profitable trading week guys. Bye bye.